Hey guys, Betty here with Carblessly Delicious Low Carb Recipes. Welcome to part two of my five part Thanksgiving series. In this video, we're making cornbread dressing, which would typically be off limits for those of us who are eating healthy and watching our carbs, but not so. In this video, we're gonna transform this traditional Thanksgiving staple into a delicious low carb feast. So keep on watching and I'll meet you in the kitchen. All right, my lovely friends, in order to keep our dressing low carb and gluten free, it all starts with making our cornbread from scratch. And as always, all the ingredients used in this recipe is provided for you in the description. We'll get started with melting two sticks of pure butter in the microwave. I'm slicing it into smaller chunks to help it melt quicker. To our melted butter, we're going to add 2 3rd cups of heavy whipping cream, 3 whole eggs, and now I'm adding only the yolks of 2 eggs. Now this here, my friend, is sweet corn extract. Add three teaspoons of this, which is going to give our cornbread that delicious corn flavor without the high starch and carbs of actual corn. I'll leave a link of this in the description for you guys as well. I've tried so many cornbread recipes out there, guys, and without this ingredient right here, you just don't get that true cornbread taste. But this, oh, this is the real deal right here, guys. Now we're gonna incorporate our dry ingredients here, starting with one cup of coconut flour, a quarter cup of Swerve sweetener, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Go ahead and give this a good mixing. We don't need to pull out all those fancy gadgets for this. Uh-uh, this is quick and simple. No electric mixers needed. Just a spoon will get the job done. Mix it well to combine everything together. Hey guys, you can grease your baking dish, but I prefer to line mine with a sheet of parchment paper just because it makes it easier to remove afterwards. But in this case, since we're going to crumble our cornbread up anyway, it really doesn't matter. The consistency of the batter may seem a little thick, but that's exactly how we want it. Use your spoon to help you smooth it out and to spread everything throughout your dish. This is going into a preheated oven for 45 to 50 minutes, heated at 375 degrees. Set your cornbread to the side to cool off. Normally you'll allow your cornbread to dry overnight, so you would bake your cornbread the day before Thanksgiving. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna crumble up the cornbread now, and then I'm gonna stick it back into the oven to dry it out that way. And oh my, Gosh, you know I had to sneak a little piece of this cornbread off camera. Honey, this cornbread is so good. So close to the real thing. Now that our cornbread has been crumbled and dried out, we can get rolling with our dressing. Again, my friends, all the ingredients is listed for you in the description. I'm using a large wok here to assemble all the ingredients together. Coat the bottom with a drizzle of coconut oil. We're gonna start by cooking our Italian ground sausage. Adding protein to your dressing is super delicious, guys. This is Southern style here. And if you don't prefer pork, that's okay. Shredded chicken is another option that you can go with that is equally tasty. I have my celery, green peppers, and yellow onion already diced and ready to saute. I'm gonna add it right in here with the sausage to blend all this delicious flavor together. Go ahead and thoroughly mix everything together. Ooh wee! 
this is such a lovely aroma. It smells so good. Now you can spice it up with a tablespoon of thyme, a tablespoon of sage. And guys, I'm just really eyeballing this here. Go ahead and use your judgment when it comes to your spices and seasoning. Season it to your taste. Test it and see what you need to add more or less of. Here's a tablespoon of rosemary. Some poultry seasoning. And a little black pepper. Look at those spices, guys. Does that look scrumptious or what? We're going to let this continue to cook until our veggies are softened and translucent. I'm going to add extra texture to my cornbread by combining it with breadcrumbs. I toasted four slices of sweet and buttery solar bread containing only two grams of net carbs. I'm going to cut this into bite-sized squares. Okay guys, now we're going to combine our breadcrumbs in with our sausage and veggies. Work it in there good. Then we're going to add in our breadcrumbs. See how nicely we blended everything together? Let's go ahead and moisten it up with one and a half cups of liquid chicken broth. We're also adding a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You know, bread absorbs a lot of moisture, so this is gonna keep our dressing from drying out, keep it nice and moist. Now guys, do you see how I'm folding our mixture here? This is what you want to do to avoid over mixing. That will cause your dressing to come out mushy. And we don't want that, my brothers and my sisters. No, no. We want our dressing to hold its chunkiness, to keep its shape. Yes. Let's transfer our mixture into our bacon dish. I'm beating two eggs here and I'm gonna pour it over the top with some butter. My friends, the eggs are gonna help bind everything together nicely. Along with the butter, it's gonna form a nice crisp on the top of our dressing as it bakes in the oven. Go ahead and cover it with foil, bake, at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. And if you like a crispier topping on your dressing, when you remove the foil, pop it back in the oven under the broiler for a quick second or two. And look at there, my friends. Make you wanna dig right in, I know, I know. And your family and friends are gonna feel the same way when they sit down at your dinner table. we can still enjoy the holidays while eating healthy and managing our carbs. Simply clicking on that like button, it tells YouTube algorithm that this video has value and that others can benefit from healthy nutrition. Guys, if you just click that like button, go ahead and do it now. YouTube will do the rest in making sure that this video is shared and recommended to many others. I really appreciate that, guys. Eat healthy be blessed until the next video make sure that you click over here to catch up on all the videos to this five-part series i look forward to seeing you guys god bless you and i'll catch you in the next video bye